Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm St. R. Edwards. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. We're on to the next lesson. We're going to work on retrieving our actions uh, with the multiple stack view scenario here in this lesson. All right, so I have the, the uh, markup already available for us on the screen. So this is what we're going to do in this lesson. So first, we're going to create an IB action for the submit answer button. Uh, from the multiple stack view called multiple answer button pressed then we're going to go on to create the four outlets for each of the ui switches under the multiple stack view and we're also going to create an if statement under that ib action that will allow uh, all of the uh, the multiple answers to be added to the current uh, answers constant all right so we're going to go ahead and get straight to that so let's do this so same thing so with the um, questions vc um, highlighted we're going to hold option and click on main.storyboard so the assistant editor will pop up. Um, I'm going to get into the most multiple answer stack view and I am going to um, click and drag, control click and drag from our submit answer button here down to this area right underneath the one and make sure the connection type is action up there for you. And we're going to call it uh, multiple answer button press all right and then for this one um, for the type we can keep it at any but as far as the the uh, sender goes we can just go to none because we don't need to uh, reference that uh, all right so we're gonna keep that keep that like that and then we're also going to create four outlets for each of the UI switches um, so to keep ourselves organized, we're going to go back up here to the top for our outlets. Um, this is the typical way that you would want to create your IV outlets and actions. You want to keep your outlets up top and then all of your actions down uh, at the bottom of your code. Uh, that's typically how you want to do it. And so what I want to do is, is I want to make some space underneath the multiple stack view area where we have our, um, our labels and everything as well and we're just gonna add our switches right underneath here just so we're we're organized all right and so starting at the top we're gonna take the first switch we're gonna control click and drag um, there in that area release and then we're just gonna call this um, we'll just say multi switch one and it's a type of UI switch and we can keep it like that make sure the connection is an outlet all right, and so we're gonna hit connect, and then I'm gonna get out of that. No, I'm gonna keep it open. So what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm just gonna copy and paste. So Control C, and then Control V, Control V, Control V. All right, and so you can you can do it this way, or you can do it the real way, where you're Control clicking and dragging for each different one. Um, but I like doing it this way sometimes, so I'm gonna do it. So we got switch two, so I'm gonna uh, hit the plus sign. I'm just gonna click over here in the in the gutter area, click from the plus sign to switch two. And as you can see, it changed to switch two. Uh, then for the third one, I'm gonna do the same thing from switch three uh, to switch three. Here we go, minimize it now. And then the last one, I'm gonna click and drag to four. And there we go, we've seen it updated. So we got all of our connections, the bubbles are filled in great all right so we got that done and now we need to uh, update this so we need to create an if statement uh, under this action to represent uh, the different the different choices because uh, in the multiple answer uh, button or the, the, the multiple answer um, stack view uh, on that screen all of the buttons can be selected you can have one two three or or none at all all right and so that's going to be a little different. It's not going to be a, a switch statement. We're going to have an if statement. So let's do this. So we're going to say the same thing as before. We'll say let current answer equals, and we'll say question, and then open up a bracket, and we'll say question index, and then we'll say dot answers. All right, and then uh, we're going to do our if statement. So we'll say if, um, and we'll say multi switch one dot is on all right this is what we want to do so we'll say chosen answers dot append new element it'll be current answers open up a bracket and then it'll be uh, zero for this one 
all right and then we'll just do this a few more times and again I'm gonna control I'm just gonna copy and paste all right so command C for me and then I'm gonna paste that as three and as four and I'm just gonna change it all right so we got multi switch one changing that to two current answers uh, now that's one this is three this is two four and then this is three all right and so now we have all of our cases there or our um, different uh, if statements there and so now we need to call um, next question all right and I believe that is it for this one guys all right so stay tuned for the last video well not the last in the whole series of course we still have a couple more to go but we're gonna work on our ranged uh, slider or range stack view scenario in the next video. All right, so stay tuned. St. R. Edwards, Swift Coding for everyone. Thank you guys for watching. Happy coding to you guys, and y'all take care.